guys, it's Malibu Sky, and today we're going to be talking about breaking the magic. So for those that don't know, breaking the magic is when you show human skin while wearing a fursuit. <laughs> it's called breaking the magic because it's kind of breaking the illusion that you are a giant fluffy animal instead of a human in an animal costume. But guess what? <laughs> you are a human in an animal costume. And if you're an adult furry, which most furries are, you should know that. <laughs> This has actually become kind of a hot button issue lately. It's kind of been on the back burner for a long time, but uh, Semi Famous Fur brought it up again and it sparked a whole debate <laughs> on uh, whether breaking the magic is okay or not. So I thought I'd just throw my two cents in there and see how it goes. <laughs> so the bottom line of my feelings is that you are not paid to pursue. <laughs> uh, in fact, you pay a lot of money for your suit and it's something that you personally do for your own enjoyment and the enjoyment of others but they're not paying you to be there like um this is where it differs from like a mascot because like if you went to uh you know disneyland and you saw mickey mouse take off his head and there's a human inside it would be rather disturbing because for one it's his job he's paid to stay in that suit uh, and for two, it would be very disturbing for all the little kids that maybe don't get the idea that that's not the real Mickey. But it's different if you're at a furry convention in a fursuit and you have to take off your head because you really can't breathe and you need air and you need to cool down. That's different because it's your own suit, it's your own property, and you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> uh, and you don't owe anything to anyone at that convention. That being said, it's usually better to do that in like a headless lounge somewhere set aside from the main public just so that you don't have to be completely ruined in the illusion of your anonymity and of the character but i mean your health comes before anything else if you are overheating and you feel like you're gonna pass out whip that head off and no one should care because you got to keep yourself safe these things get really hot i'm sure you've heard that time and time again but it's true, it, they get extremely hot, extremely fast, especially full suits and suits without, uh, with like closed mouths and not good ventilation. Um, you can get, yeah, you can overheat very easily and people have gotten to the point of passing out, which is no bueno, don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, if you feel like you need to take anything off and break the magic, do it. It's for your own safety and it's important. And no one should give you any crap for that. And if they do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to beat them up because you're much more important than the illusion of a character. <laughs> a big problem that people have had lately is what's thing called poodling, which I think is a hilarious name. But it's basically when you're wearing a t-shirt and your paws... Where did my paws go? <laughs> uh... Okay, so it's like this. So you've got human skin showing in your arm, and then hand, paw, and head. And people call it poodling, because like when you shave a poodle, you uh, you know shave its main body and its legs, but leave little tufts on its feet, and its head, its tail. <laughs> I think it's a really funny and clever term. And this is a big issue that everyone was talking about, on whether it's okay to be poodling around a convention. And I think it boils down to the same exact thing. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> and you're able to suit for longer and have a more fun time with less restriction of movement. And um, it just feels good. <laughs> uh, now, there are some cases where people need to do this for medical reasons, where, you know, they can't stand heat or they have some sort of, you know, asthma, something where um, they have to uh, keep as cool as possible. And this is the best way to keep cool. Well, just a head, just, you know, paws on. It may be a tail hanging on the back and that's it. And that's how they're comfortable with suiting and it's the only way they can suit. And I say let them do it. <laughs> uh, bottom line is that in the furry fandom, the majority of us are adults or teenagers who should know that it's not actually a real, you know, giant toucan. It's a person inside with needs and feelings and their needs and feelings <laughs> make it so they have to show some human skin then let them be them and that's what i say anyway <laughs> i mean generally for my own sake i tend to prefer especially at conventions 
to cover up all my skin, I'll wear one of my like dozens of plaid shirts because you know I'm, I'm a lesbian and that's how we attract each other. <laughs> so I'll wear like a plaid and long pants and, uh, and paws so the human skin isn't showing. Just for my own kind of peace of mind, I feel like I like it better. But I'm not gonna push that on anyone else. <laughs> Let them do what they want and how they feel to represent their character, basically. <laughs> Um, and I will admit that when I am like feeling cute in an outfit or something, or um, I just feel like throwing on my head and taking some pictures, I'll do what I'm doing now, which is some call it minotauring. So it's like um, you're like the minotaur, you just have a big animal head, but then the rest of your features are human. Uh, and I love that. <laughs> I think it's really cool for like posing for pictures or if I live stream and I you know, don't want to overheat really fast, we'll just throw my head on, that'll be cool. Kind of makes me feel like an Egyptian god or something, you know? <laughs> I am raw! <laughs> ah. uh, so this video is kind of a rambly mess, but bottom line, it's their pursuit, let them do what they want with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any different opinions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or uh, if you have the same opinion, agree with me and we can just talk about it and be happy. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say in the matter. I also, um, I know that some of like my friends and stuff were on the side of not poodling and never showing skin and I don't want to attack anyone on this. Um, I think everyone has the right to their own opinion. This is just mine. Um, don't mean to offend anyone at all. Uh, just keep doing you and keep being awesome. Um, thank you for watching. New video every Sunday, so you can keep an eye out for that. A new video every Sunday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, right now I'm alternating it, so it's, uh, every sun every one Sunday there'll be a dance video, and the next week there'll be any other kind of video <laughs> that I feel like I want to do, and it'll alternate. Um, so feel free to subscribe, stick around for that if you want, <laughs> and, uh, thank you again for watching. Alright, love you. Bye!